Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, how are you, people? How was your day today? Hey, Jonathan, it's good to see you again. Ah, uh, mira, ayer no pude entrar. Ah, yes. I was about to text you why, uh, how you couldn't like show up yesterday. I saw it that you were not in the class. But it's good yeah. that you're that you're here now. It's good. Okay. So how are you, Jonathan? How have you been? ¿Cómo has estado? Eh, bastante bien. No, no he practicado estos días que no he ido a clase. <laughs> no, <Okay>. no, no he podido. <laughs> you have been you have been in a <laughs> complete, <laughs> you have been in a complete vacation. <laughs> <laughs> no, eh, normalmente lo hago. Ajá, cuando, ajá. No, cuando no estamos viendo ajá. en YouTube, pero estos días no he podido. That's really normal, but now you have you have not practiced. No, nah, okay, yeah. but no problem. We're going to start practicing from from today and on. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So, good evening, Carla. How was your day today? Is it Carla there? Carla? No, okay. I think she's not there. Nuria, how about you? Are you there? I guess. Hi, teacher. Ah, yes, she's there. Hi, Rita. How was, how was, how was your day, Nubia? Hi, teacher. Very, very hard. Very, very hard? Really? Why? Why so hard? You had a lot of work to do? Es que, bueno, eh, yo tenía, mandé hacer unas camisas bordadas que me habían solicitado. Uh -huh. Y mi proveedor se equivocó y me bordó una manga mal. Oh, y las camisas se supone que la otra semana las tengo que entregar. Entonces se puede imaginar. Oh my God. Yeah, you, you tratando con problem. mi proveedor, con el cliente. Yes. Y hasta hace como una hora me dicen, no, sabe que te voy a devolver el dinero y mandarles a hacer a otro lado. Pero eso me implica buscar a alguien que me las haga para allá. In a record time, <laughs> yes, in tiempo récord. Record time. Pero ya, 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 ya resolví, gracias a Dios. No, nah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, I mean, it's like, when do you want your, 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 your package? It was like, for yesterday. <laughs> Para ayer. <laughs> nah, I mean, that's, that's, sometimes it's like kind of stressing those type of things, but that generally happens. Eh, generalmente suele pasar ese tipo de inconvenientes a veces. Pero, Pero nunca me había pasado, entonces yo me quedé yeah. así como que... Surprise. Exactly, sí. very surprised. Pero ya, siento que ya, ya respiro. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. right, that's good. That's good to hear. So, Carla, how was your day today? Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. Carla, how was your day today? Very good. Cansado. Iron. Yeah, like everybody, I'm right? Tired. Yeah. yeah. Like, like every single day, right? We just to get tired, like starting to work very early in the morning and finish almost at night. Yeah, I mean, it's very tiring. But it's good. It's good that you are here, Carla. Okay. And we try yeah, to. El tráfico yeah, like, horrible. Really, the traffic jam. Yeah. yeah. Like, and it's worst when there are accidents. It's really worst. Yes. Se yes. peor cuando hay accidentes. Yes. Yeah, and by, by that yes. area, by that area is very common to have accidents, right? And to see accidents. Yeah, all over the, that, that is true. Here too, here too. Yeah. More accidents. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, Let's see, Hilmar, good evening. Good evening, everyone. It's good to see you again, Hilmar. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Eric told me that you could not, uh, you know, show up to the class yesterday because you were celebrating. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I mean, he Eric told me. Eric he siempre con las malas influencias. Exactly. He told me that you were celebrating the, like the Independence Day. Is that true? Don't be layered, teacher. Fui a ver las cachiporras, solo que yo sabía que no se iban a servir. Okay. <laughs> Nah, we couldn't see, you couldn't see the cachiporras this year. Se quedó el más ferrer, ¿verdad? Sí, me dejé. Mire, teacher, se quedó con las ganas de verlas para el próximo año. So sad, so sad. Next year. Exactly. No, de hecho, de hecho, Gilmar, ahí cerca del trabajo hay varios, hay varias iglesias. Ah, sí, 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 claro. Sí. That's really nice. Hay muchas hermanas. Sí, unas hermanas. Sí, ok. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, for the rest of the people, in this case, I'm talking about Ruth Joanna. Is it there? Vanessa Odev, Jennifer Noemi. I think Jennifer Noemi this is the first day that she connects today. Hi, yes. Jennifer. <laughs> nice to meet you, teacher. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Jennifer. So, my name is Juan Carlos. I mean, since you missed the class from yesterday. So my name is Juan Carlos and I'm your facilitator or your teacher in this module, right? And it's good to have Thank you here, Jennifer. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay, good. So Jennifer, where are you from? Are you from? I am from Cojutepeque. Oh, nice. I am from Cojutepeque. Oh, cool. Nice, Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, these people makes bully at me because I am from Oriente. I am from San Miguel, and they they say that this this place is like like the hell. The es como, Miguel. Es San Miguel. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> me, me dicen que es como como. No hay necesidad de, de, de ir a las profundidades de la tierra porque aquí ya ya. Oh, pero ya, ya no se compara. Cojo te peque es fresco. Yes, of course. Really cool. <laughs> Por eso le estoy diciendo que. Aquí los compañeritos que usted tiene me suelen hacer bullying porque como acá, o sea, llueva, truene, relampaguee, siempre caliente. Ah, ah wow. Yeah, like, oh, it's ¿Usted fine. es de San Miguel? Yes. Ni me has sentido. No, mentira, es broma. Yes, le voy a decir. I know, I know, yes. I know, I know, I know it. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Vanessa Odette, are you there? I think she's on the way home, I guess. But let's wait for her to connect. So let's see. Uh, ah, we got Rosa. Hi, Rosa. Why don't you turn on your camera, Rosa? I want to, to see you. Ay, teacher, no enciendo la cámara porque, o sea, voy de camino. Una ah, gran really? trabazo horrenda. Ah, oh, ok, no problem, Rosa. Sorry. Yeah. Ok, cool. So, let's see who else is coming. Uh, that yesterday didn't show up. Uh, ah, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. It's good to see you. Hello, teacher. Hi. It's good to see Un you. Un gusto. Same here, same here. Ok, let's see who else. Ah, Sara is here. Hi, Sara. Good evening. Hi, teacher. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Bien, acá. That's nice. Ya, queriéndome despegar del trabajo, pero todavía. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you aren't there yet. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, people. We have a lot of information to share today, so let's go straight there. Okay, but the first thing that I'm going to do is just to pass the attendance list, okay? Let's see. Ana Claribel. She's not here yet, right? No. Ana Maria. Eh, she usually comes late. Carlos Ademir. I am in his starting. Hi, good evening, Carlos. Welcome. Good evening. Thank yeah, you. I was about to mention you and you connected. That's good, man. <laughs> That's good. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I mean we're like 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 partners. My name is Juan Carlos, so I got Carlos too. Yeah, I mean I got a brother okay. here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's nice, dude. All right, welcome, Carlos. Good to have you here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see, Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. 
Okay, good. Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Okay. Hey, Ever ha venido bien, bien, bien silencioso. What's up, Ever? How was your day? No, estoy repasando ahorita para que no me haga. Ah, ah, you see? <laughs> Checking before the class, huh? No, okay. I will take it into account, okay? Hmm. Fatima Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Gilmar Cruz. Present teacher. Okay, good. Jonathan Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, great. Let me check. Jorge Elvir. Here. Mm -mm -mm. Not yet, right? No. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, Carla Benacer. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Margot Hernandez. Is she here? Mm, no, right? Okay. Maritza Alcira. Good evening, present teacher. Hi, good evening, Maritza. Welcome again. Thank you. Okay. Natalie Vanessa. Hey, Natalie's missing. No, okay. Romeo Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, good, Romeo. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay, great. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Okay. Good. Let's see. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Good. Stephanie Lisset. Hey, Stephanie, excuse me. Hmm. Vanessa Oder. Present teacher. Are you on your way home, Vanessa? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Ah, no, you're, you're, you're in your house already. That's good. That's nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. William Alberto. Okay. Uh, hey, hi, William. Good to see you again. Uh, let me see. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Jennifer Noemi. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. And the last one, ah, but Diana Gabriela. Eh, but Diana is not connected yet. Okay, I, I think she's going to connect later on. Okay. Before starting with uh, the topic that we have for tonight, for this second video conference, let's do a short feedback from the previous class. What was the topic from last class, people? For the ones who showed up yesterday, what was the topic use from last the, class? Aha, Maritza. You use the how many and how much? Aha, uh -huh. okay, very good. Thank you. We were using uh, how much and how many, right? Besides that, what else were we uh, discussing? What kinds of nouns were we discussing yesterday? Did you remember? Uh, size and or the weight, uh -huh. dimension. Okay, that was the vocabulary, right? Okay, cool. All right, thank you, Ever. That was the vocabulary, but remember, in order to use how much and how many, we need, okay, we need some nouns that are divided in two, in two groups. Okay, one is countable nouns. Okay, good. And uncountable nouns, okay? Countable nouns are nouns that we can count, okay? Like a cell phone, I can say one cell phone, two cell phones, three cell phones, I can count it, right? 
But for example, if I say like sugar is a word that we cannot count. Okay, so we cannot say like one sugar, two sugars, right? Because it's, it's like impossible. Okay, we were practicing also like countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, right now, like very quick, I want to make a feedback by filling up some exercises that were missing from yesterday's topic in the manual. Ah, by the way, eh, por cierto, antes que se me olvide, todos los que estamos acá están en el chat de WhatsApp, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Yes. Yo no, teacher. Ok, cool. Para los que no están acá en el chat de Zoom, les voy a enviar el link con el cual se pueden unir al grupo de WhatsApp, ok. Porque necesito igual eh, que todos tengan el manual. ¿Todos lo tienen hasta ahora o hay alguno que no, que no lo tenga? ¿Hay alguien que no tenga el manual? Y que si es necesario. Sí, yo mañana lo voy a imprimir. Ah, ok, perfect. But, but you got it in PDF, right? ¿Pero lo tiene ahorita en PDF? No. Ok, entonces le voy a mandar el link ahorita y luego voy a reenviar de nuevo el, el manual para que lo pueda descargar. Okay. All right. So that way you can download it. Give me a second. I'm going to share that in order to continue. Okay, there you, there you have. That's the WhatsApp link. So open it up and you can join to the group. Jonathan, let me know when you when you are uh, in the group. Hágame saber cuando ya estén en el grupo para poder reenviar de nuevo el manual, por favor. Listo, listo, teacher, ya estoy en el grupo. Uh, ok, perfect. There you go. Ok, like right now, I'm going to resend the manual. Give me a second. Just give me a second, I'm resending the manual so you can have it because we need it, uh, you know, like, since we're gonna be working uh, just with the manual, uh, we need to have it in PDF. Okay, you have it there, right? Supongo que ya les llegó. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to place up uh, what we were supposed to be discussing yesterday. Is this, this page. Okay, for the one who got the manual, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso y vamos a hacer algunos ejercicios que no completamos ayer con relación al tema de ayer. Lo vamos a hacer a modo de feedback, okay? in order to continue with the, with the, you know, like the rest of the topics that we got for today. This is, this was the, like the topic, right? How to use, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. It was below, below, below. This one is it. Now this is the, this one. This is the one. It's in page, in page, let me check, page 10. Let's go everybody to page 10. Oh, if you can see, you can, you can watch it here, all right, on the screen. It says, how to use countable and uncountable nouns. Ese era el tema central, okay? Cómo usar nombres contables e incontables. En preguntas, using questions. ¿Cuáles son las dos estructuras que utilizamos para hacer preguntas? How much and how many, okay? That's, that's uh, uh, the structure for each part of this nouns okay let's just start up with the people who show up yesterday nubia with what kinds of uh, nouns do we use how much what teacher with what category of nouns do we use how much how much Yes, with countable or uncountable. Uh, 
Uncountable. Uncountable? Are you sure? <sighs> yes or no, Nubia? <laughs> Why are you doubting? I don't understand. Okay, I'm going to translate the question. ¿Con qué categoría de nombres utilizamos how much? ¿Contables o no contables? Contables. Contable nouns? Yes. So mm -hmm. I, can, I can say, Nubia, or I can ask, how much cell phone do you have? <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> no, it's an uncountable. No, okay, very good. All right, we use how much with uncountable nouns and how many with countable nouns, right? That's the way how we uh, practice questions. And we got the structure in there and we got some example questions. And I want, let's see, Vanessa Odette to read the first question using how much. Help me on reading the first question, please. Using how much, Vanessa? How much drink? Mm, okay, Vanessa, let, let, let's just help me reading the question in here. Okay. Later on, we're okay. gonna do some examples, right? But this, this, this one I got here. Okay. How much does the refrigerator weigh? Okay, refrigerator. Repeat again. Refrigerator. Repeat. Refrigerator. Okay, perfect. Thank you, okay. Vanessa. Okay, how much does the refrigerator weigh? So what does it mean? Ever, how can you understand that question? Remember, even though the question talks about the refrigerator, it doesn't refer to the refrigerator, right, Ever? Right, it's like, uh, que tan pesado eso. Exactly, right? In este caso, and I'm going to say that in Spanish for you to understand better. In este caso, aunque estemos hablando de, la re, de, de, de un refrigerador, ok, recordemos que ahí lo que cuenta es en qué está enfocada la pregunta. En este caso es en qué tanto pesa, ok. So that's why it is uncountable, the question, not countable. Obviously, the, the answer has to be countable. En este caso, la respuesta sí puede ser contable. Okay, because we are measuring the weight. We might say like, what, 500 pounds, 500 libras, 200 pounds, okay? It, it depend, depends on how tall or big, or large, you know, like is the refrigerator. Okay, Fatima, help me on reading the second question, please. How much does it cost? Now, okay, very good. Thank you, Fatima. Remember, when we talk about how much and we talk about cost, it talks about money, the price of the product, okay? For example, we can omit the word and put, for example, the word cell phone. How much does the cell phone cost? Cuánto cuesta el celular, okay? There you go. So in that case, we're talking about price, right? Estamos hablando de el costo o, o precio de algo. There you go. So that's why it is, remember, uncountable. So next question. Sara, help me on reading. Hi. Hi. Help me on reading the, the question number three. How much? Uh, how much is the? I didn't say <laughs> warranty. Okay. Warranty. warranty. Okay, very good. What is warranty, people? Do you remember what is warranty? Guarantee. Guarantee. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. How much is the warranty? Is it talks about you know like it can be about the price of the warranty or the time of the warranty. Okay, it might be one year warranty, six month warranty, 
five years warranty. Okay, it depends on, on, on the product. Okay, and the last question using uncountable. Jonathan, help me on reading. Jonathan, are you there? Hello. No, okay, I think he's not there. Okay, let's let's ask another participant to read. Carla, help me read it, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, how much does it storage? Okay, thank you, Carla. How much does it storage? What is talks about that in that question? ¿A qué se refiere este, esta pregunta? Almacenamiento. Exactly. It talks about, you know, like the storage, the capacity, all right? It might be from a cell phone, from a computer, okay? Eh, or, other, or, or any other device, right? How much does it storage? Okay, ¿cuánto es la capacidad o el almacenamiento? You see? That's why it's uncountable, right? Because it's like, like something that you cannot count. Even though in the answer, yeah, you can you can put it as countable. Okay, that's related to questions using uncountable nouns. Using how much? Now, using how many? How many, remember, we use it with countable nouns, okay? Something that I want you to remember all the time. Algo que quiero que siempre sure. recuerden. Cuando usamos how many y usamos nombres contables, ese nombre sobre el que vamos a preguntar siempre, siempre tiene que estar en plural. ¿Ok? Si nos referimos a celulares, recordemos que how many significa cuántos. Entonces, desde que ya estamos eh, hablando de how many, estamos hablando de varios. O sea, o sea ya sea una pequeña o gran cantidad. Pero siempre el countable noun o el nombre contable siempre tiene que ir en plural. Aunque en la respuesta pueda ser singular. ¿Ok? There you go. Uh, let's see. Hilmar, help me reading the first question using how many. Ok. How many features does it have? Nah, ok, very good. How many features does it have? What is feature? Característica. Características. Very good. Thank you, Marisa. La, la lamparita. La lamparita. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I used to like those cell phones uh, that when you used to press a, 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 you know, like a key in the keyboard, they used to tell you the hour. It's like, la hora es, blah, blah. If, I, if I'm not wrong, it was a Nokia, the, 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 the one that, that the released with something like that. That was pretty cool. Yes, man. <laughs> Te lo tiraba alguien, le reventaba la cabeza. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, Romeo, help me out reading the second question. The, the how many, how much? No, how many? How many? How much? How many? Wait, okay. Uh, how many colors is this in? Okay, how many colors is this in? Okay, very good. Remember, we're talking about in there a variety of colors, right? In that in that question. Okay, you might say this is with uh, like what two colors, three colors, and you can even mention them. Okay, so let's see next question, Jennifer. How many functions does it have? Now, okay, thank you, Jennifer. How many functions does it have? So you see, in that case, we're talking about functions. It might be two functions, three functions, or whatever, right? Depending on the device that we are talking about. And the last question, William, help me on reading, please. Uh, how many products do you want? Now, okay, thank you. How many products do you want? You might say, I want three products, five products, 100 products, okay? So you can count the products, right? That's why we use how many. Okay, good. Hasta acá, 
tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda en cuanto al uso de how much and how many? Any question? Or everything is clear? El, la duda es, la hora de contestar, dijo que era entre plural y singular. ¿Cómo era? Ah, oh, yes. For example, uh, let, let's put this into context. Um, how many cell phones do you have? La pregunta is how many cell phones? ¿Cuántos teléfonos tiene? And you can answer, I have one cell phone. Ahí la respuesta es, it's just one, all right? Singular. Okay. Puede contestar en, en singular si, solo tiene, si solamente tiene una, una, uh, una en existencia del producto que eh, están preguntando. Or, or obviously you might say, I have two cell phones. Entonces, plural. entonces la pregunta es siempre iría plural. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. In plural all the time because of uh, the noun. Hmm. Okay. Any other question? Okay. Great. Let's continue. Okay. Let's let's do this like 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 you know like as soon as possible. What are we gonna do here? Okay. Let's use this short activity and then we move on to the main topic that we have for today. It says. Complete the following questions using how much or how many. Okay, let's do number one. Vamos a hacer la número uno. Las demás quiero que me las hagan en su cuaderno. Over there, right? Because later on, you're, you're going to uh, read it and we will check each one of them. Number one, it says, tenemos pieces. Do I need to assemble this? What is it? How much or how many? How many? Exactly, right? How many? ¿Por qué podemos identificar que es how many? Because in English, exactly, we got the word pieces, right? Piezas. So that's plural. Entonces, esto me da la pauta, el nombre me da la pauta, okay? Que acá tiene que ir how many. Okay, good. So let's complete the other ones using how much and how many. And let me know when you finish. Let me know when you finish, okay? Let's do it. Okay. Yep. You can do it in your notebook. It will be better for you to have them there. Okay, if you have any questions, just let me know. Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect, Vanessa. Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect, Vanessa. I would like to see everybody like doing the, the, the activity, but there are some of you that got the cameras off. Hmm. Vamos a comenzar a preguntarles a los que tienen las cámaras apagadas. Va a ser eh, eh, preguntas frecuentes. Finish, teacher. Good. Ah, y Roxana rápido la enciende. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Thank you, Hilmar. So we're gonna uh we're gonna start with uh, with checking them. Okay. I guess everybody has finished. So let's start. Hey, by the way, hi Natalie. Calladita entró Natalie. No la había visto. Hola, teacher. Ay. Ya me sorprendí de que no me hubiera hablado. Yes, I mean, I, lo, no la había visto. Yeah, I didn't see you before. And where... Teacher, le quiero hacer una pregunta. Ajá, uh -huh, tell me. Este, Stephanie aplicaba para este curso. 
She's in the list. I don't know why she's, she's not, she's es not que, here. Ajá, no es que ahorita le estaba preguntando. Es que dice que no le han mandado nada, dice. What? Uh -huh. What? Tell her to check uh, the, the email. Sí, es que a ella le mandaban eh, todo lo que son los correos. De hecho, creo que el correo de la empresa se lo mandaban. Así me comentó ella. Uh -huh. Entonces, este... Ese, al WhatsApp nunca le mandaron nada, solamente el correo, pero el correo de la empresa. That's weird because she's in the uh -huh. list. Okay. Ah, ah, pues no sé, tal vez ahí. Bueno, ya voy a hablar yo con ella entonces. Que okay. se comunique por WhatsApp con algún encargado, los que están. Ajá. Sí, exactly. yo le voy a pasar. El... Ya, yeah, sí, y dígale pasar... para que se conecte el lunes. Ajá, sí, porque eso me estaba comentando ella ahora en la noche de que no le había caído nada, notificación de nada. That's weird. No, dígale que a veces que, que abra el correo, porque a veces eh, no caen las notificaciones. Últimamente a veces el, el Gmail ha estado como teniendo esas fallas, que no envía las notificaciones eh, el día que corresponde, sino a veces llega bien tarde. Ajá. Bye. Ya, ah, pues sí. Te... Natalie, ¿cómo va a creer que no le no iba a estar en el grupo si era la favorita? Ah, es cierto. Les. ¿Ah? Les. Uno. <risa> Ay, es cierto, pasada. compañerito. O quizás ella, o quizás ella no se quiere conectar, quizás por eso, ¿verdad? Ah, come on. Right. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's see. Ah, por estar hablando de más. Eric, read number two. Bye, no es malo, va, teacher, es malo. Obviously, ya, por eso yo ni bulla hago cuando entro, mejor. A hundred percent evil. Hi, Eric. Okay, okay, teacher. Uh, how much does this book cost? Nah. Why how much, Eric? Sorry? Why how much? Porque eso how much and not how many. Eh, porque me estoy refiriendo al costo eh, y estoy tomando el libro a, a books en plural. No, very good. Yes, a pesar que tenemos un noun in plural in there, right? Is mm -hmm. how much. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando del costo, ¿ok? No de la cantidad de libros. Very good, Eric. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's see who's, who's next, who can help me up. Carlos, help me a reading uh, number three. Um, number three. Uh, how much is battery life? Of the of this computer. Okay, very good, Carlos. Yeah, how much is the battery life of this computer? Why? Because it talks it, it talks about you know like the the life of the right. battery, right? The longevity mm -hmm. of the battery. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Uh let's see. William, help me on reading number four. How much hours? Do you I charge it? Mm, are you sure, William? Because one of uh, one of the keys uh, okay. that you got hours orders. How many? How many? Exactly. Sorry, William. How many? Yes. How many It, hours? Because some hours. Exactly. Mm -hmm. In ese caso, ya tenemos el el nombre ahí está en plural. Okay. How many hours do I charge it? Okay. Good, William. Uh, who can help me out with the next one? Sara, help me out with number five. How much, how much money do you have? Now, okay, very good. How much money do you have? Very good. Why how much? Remember, la palabra money no se puede contar. Okay, it's something uncountable. Okay, that's why we use how much. 
So you say like, how much money do you have? And you like, I have 25 cents in my pocket. That's what I have. Okay, number six, Roxana. <clears throat> how many gallons of water does this need? Okay, how many gallons of water does this need? Very good, Roxana. Okay, a pesar, okay, a pesar que tenemos uh, the word water in there, or the noun water, recordemos que ahí estamos hablando ya de los, no, like the gallons, gallons, gallons. right? Exactly, no de el agua en sí. Okay, good. There you go. So that was part of the feedback that we, the, from the class that we were doing yesterday, okay? Now let's go back because I'm going to put the presentation from today's class, okay, or today's topic. So I'm going to stop sharing the manual, and then we're going to switch. Give me a second. I'm going to put up, uh, let me check. Yes, this is the one. OK. So this is the topic for tonight. OK, so I remember this is the video conference number two. And today's topic is have to or has to for obligations. OK, that's the topic that we're going to be discussing the rest of the class. Let's remember, OK, let's remember. If you have any doubt, any question, when I am explaining the topic, please turn on your microphone and ask the question, okay? Ask the question. So let's start with the class agenda. We did the feedback from the previous class, eh, lo que acabamos de tener, pe la pequeña retroalimentación sobre el tema principal de la clase feedback. de ayer, okay? This feedback from the previous class. Retroalimentación, all right? We work in the manual, okay? Like doing the exercises, okay? And reading the questions. And then I'm gonna start play, uh, explaining, like right now, the uses of have to or has to expressing obligation. And then we're gonna go back again to the manual to do some exercises. Okay, to complete some exercises, including a conversation. And that's pretty much what we have for uh, the rest of the class. Es prácticamente los puntos más relevantes que tenemos en cuanto al desarrollo de toda la clase, okay? O lo que falta de la clase. Okay, let's move on. Have to or has to. Why is it divided into, into words? Have to and has to. Remember, the word have or the verb have is irregular. Okay, that's why when we got it in third person, it changes from have to has. Entonces, por eso tenemos dos versiones, have to and has to. Has to se utiliza más que todo cuando usamos singulares o tercera persona. When we talk about he, she, it, or singular nouns. Okay, and have to is mostly for first, second, person, and plurals. Okay, this is a short definition about the uses of have to or has to. And let me check who can help me at reading. Who has not participated? Natalie, help me at reading the, the definition, please. We use have to, has to, mm -hmm. to show obligation about any activity in or jobs or houses. No, okay, listen up. Have to and has to is part of modal verbs. Do you remember the modal verbs from the previous module when we were discussing must for obligations? So has to is likely similar to must because it shows an obligation, right? This is like, like you know, like when the wife tells you, hey, you have to wash the dishes and you have, okay, I mean, you have to do it, right? So because it's an obligation. So let's start with the structure. Vamos a comenzar un poco hablando sobre gramática, okay? 
I know this is like, like kind of boring part, but it's necessary. And what is the structure? This is the structure. The first thing that we are going to have is the subject. Remember that the subject can be a pronoun, like I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Or, you know, like, like proper nouns, like, you know, like Vanessa, Eric, uh, Jennifer, right? Proper nouns. And then we got have to, okay? This is this this have to is mostly used. We're gonna use it right now in first, second person and plurals. Okay. Then we're gonna uh, see some examples using third person. So we got subject plus have to plus main verb or verbo principal in this case el que indica la acción main verb plus complement. Okay, to make the sentence more specific. So we got some examples. Uh, let's see, Vanessa, help me reading this, this, this example. I have to work eight hours a day. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. All right, so in this case, when I say like, I have to work eight hours a day, it's an obligation that I have to do, right? No tengo alternativa. Es algo que es, que es una obligación el hacerlo. Okay? Like, I have to work eight hours a day. So, in that case, it's like, tengo que. Okay? Like, tengo que trabajar ocho horas al día. So, you see, that's, that's the way how we translate the have to. Okay? By showing obligation. Second example, ever. Tell me a reading. You have to complete the report today. Thank you, Ever. So you see, that's another obligation, right? Let's suppose uh, your boss tells you, hey, Eric, you have to complete the report today. What do you have to do, Eric? You have to, right? To complete the report. Entonces, usted está en la obligación de completar ese reporte para ese día. So you see that in that case, you, you are working like, you know, like as an obligation to do that. Per example, Hilmar, help me out. Okay, uh, we have to store the materials. Okay, we have to store uh, the materials. Okay, we have to store the materials. Now we're talking about a plural, right? Aquí estamos hablando ya de una manera plural. Why? Because we're talking like we, nosotros. Okay? It's different. All right, let's continue with the examples. And we got the last one. Maritza, help me a reading. They have to the homework. Okay, let's repeat it again, Maritza. They have to do the homework. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Ha, you see, it's like if I tell you, you people, you have to do the homework after the class finish. So that's an obligation, right? Ah, vamos a revisar la tarea uno. Ya lo vamos a poner ahí como, como una, una quote, like, you have to do the homework, an obligation. That's pretty cool. Okay, so, entonces acá, hemos estado hablando sobre primeras, segunda persona y plurales, okay? Using have to. Now, let's, let's continue. But before moving on to the next presentation, uh, do you have any question? Tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta acá? With, with the topic itself? Has to the person. Yes, ese es el que vamos a ver eh, en la siguiente diapositiva, William. Ya en la okay. tercera persona, has to. Okay. Yeah. In here is used like first person, second person, and plurals. Plurals. Mm -hmm. I had, uh, I wanted to do it like separated for you like to understand better. Okay, everything is clear uh, with this? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. So I can move on. Give me a second. Okay. Now let's 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 talk about has to. Okay. So this is the structure. Where is the noun here? The name. So we got the subject. Okay. We got the subject plus has to. You see? Plus main verb plus complement. Okay. In este caso acá, ya no vamos a usar have to, sino has to. Why? Porque aquí ya estamos hablando de singulares. Okay. We're talking about he. We're talking about she. Oh, we're talking about like, like, you know, proper names, using proper names. So we got some examples in here. The first example, Nubia, help me already. She has to be on time at work. Okay, thank you. She has to be on time at work. So you see, in este caso, ella tiene que estar a tiempo. In el trabajo, right? So in este caso acá, utilizamos has to when we talk about a woman, right? Or just a single person. All right. So next example. Carla, help me a reading. Carla, help me a reading. Perdón, teacher, que no me da el... Eh, what? Permítame. <laughs> okay. Me cerró la pantalla. Permítame. Okay. Yeah, it happens. Um... All right. Uh, I'm checking. Uh, in the meantime, mientras soluciona sus problemitas técnicos, Carla, eh, just a parenthesis. Uh, Mrs. Urrutia, are you there? Yes, teacher. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm checking some text messages in there that you have problems to connect. Sí, mil años después me di cuenta. I was explaining the things. <laughs> All right. Okay, sí, pero ya, ya okay. pude. Nice. Oh, ya está feliz. Ah, come on, Eric. <laughs> Ay, tenía que ser Eric. Ya quiere ¿verdad? que me vienten cacerolas por la cabeza. ¿Cómo? Ya, yeah, el Eric. <laughs> Pay per view. <laughs> Ajá. Ok, Carla. Ok, teacher. He, he has to wear uniform. Nah, ok. Let me check. Yeah. He has to wear uniform, right? So we got he has to, and then the main verb in that case is wear. What is wear? By the way, ropa. Ah, no. usar. It talks about usar. ropa. Okay, it talks about ropa, but in this case, it's like usar. That's the verb. Vestir. Exactly. Vestir. Like, exactly, right? Like wear a shirt. Like usar una camisa. You see? Yeah, it, when it talks about uh, clothes. There you Teacher. go. Let's, uh huh. Tell me. Um, I don't know. If it's only me, but the screen looks is very close. I can see the last uh, the last sentences. And I don't know if it's only me or, or the other partner too. Um, how come? Como así? La, la, no sé, la pantalla la veo muy cerca y ya traté yo de hacerla más pequeña, pero... Las últimas palabras no la veo. The, 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 the structure, por ejemplo, complement ya no lo puedo ver. Ah, really? Ajá. Sí, la veo muy cerca, la, la pantalla. Does that happen to you, people? ¿Lo mismo sucede con ustedes? No, teacher. Ah, no, no, teacher. Vale. Ok. Yo creo, uh, que, uh -huh. yo creo que el compañero quizá tiene algún problema de, de resolución de pantalla o en la laptop. Si sí, estos es utilizando laptop o, o, o tablet, porque también podría es reducirle el zoom. 
para poder hacer la pantalla un poquito más pequeña, tal vez ahí tendrá problemas. Let me see, let me see. Yes, probably you, you got problems with that. Ah, okay, okay, this is the problem, thank you. Ajá, uh -huh. thank you, Rosana. Es que estás carajada. Ya, man, it happens. Mire, ayer... Cuando dijo el compañero tiene problemas, ah, ya lo conoce, dije yo, sí, va a ver qué onda, qué le va a sacar, dije. Ya, <laughs> yeah, man, it was like me yesterday, right? Antes de la clase, antes de comenzar la clase, everything was working fine. Cuando comencé la clase, it was like the funny part. Trabajando se sumen, like, like, take me out, take me in. It's like, ah, I hate that. Ya, yeah, I mean, it happens. Suele pasar a veces. But that's like, you know, like, mistakes or errors that we cannot solve, right? Okay, let's continue. Let me see who has not participated. All right now, Romeo, help me out reading uh, the next example. Okay. Jose has to serve the documents. Now, ah, okay, thank you, Romeo. Jose has to save the documents. So you see, in este caso, el verbo principal is save. save. What is save? Salvar, guardar. Okay, very good. Guardar. Yes, there you go. So, en este caso acá ya estamos usando nombres propios, ¿ok? Like, José. Okay. That's why we got, we got, like, has to, right? Next example. El Fátima. No me agarraba. Cristina has to buy food. Nah, ok. Thank you. Cristina has to buy food. Well, it doesn't have the issue. Like, we are expressing that. Ok. Good. I think the, there are like, like enough examples in here for us to understand how to do this, this type of positive statements, right? Okay, right up to now. Do you have any question? Tenemos alguna duda hasta acá? Related to this structure? Any question, okay. people? No? no? Okay, cool. What do yeah. I want from you, people? Listen up. Based on the previous uh, slide and this one, I want you to create two examples. Quiero que me hagan dos ejemplos. One using first person and the second one using third person. Okay? The first one you can do it personally and the second one do it with the name of a coworker. Okay? Or any member of your family using third person. Example in first person, I listen up. I have to speak English in the class. That is like personally, per person. Now what, like, my wife has to wake up early. You see, that's another example, using third person. Okay, let's create two sentences. And let me know when you finish. Me hace saber cuando ya tengan las dos oraciones. Teacher. Yes. Two. Two examples, Nubia. One in first person and the second one in third person. Oh. Using he or she. Or oh, a proper noun. Teacher, tú con have or tú con... No, no, no. Have. One using have to and the other one using has to. One and one. Okay. Okay, good. Now, okay, perfect, Hilma. Okay, perfect, Eric. Okay, let, let's start up with the ones who have already finished. Uh, Hilma, let's read yours. Eh, una y una. Yes. Okay. I had to start preparing dinner. Huh. Okay, I have to start preparing dinner. That's an obligation. Okay, good. 
uh, now has to. Yes. And she has to lock the door. Repeat it again, Hilma. She has to lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. Ah, cerrar la puerta. Ah, close. Close. Ah, close. Close. Ajá, creí que decía lock de poner llave. Ajá, algo así. Ah, porque lock es de like, poner llave a la puerta. Ah, sí, ¿no? el lock es. No sé, nosotros siempre le ponemos llave aquí a la oficina cada vez que salimos. Nah, Very good. There you go. Thank you, Hilmar. Now, Eric, read your examples. Okay, sure. Uh, I have to pay the bills. And Catherine has to study for the exam. Very good. Thank you, Eric. Uh, You're welcome. Let's see. Now, guys, uh, who else has finished? I'm teacher. Okay, very good. First, Maritza and then Nubia. We have to buy at the supermarket. Okay, very good. Fatima has to wash the dishes. Are you listening, Fatima? You have to wash the dishes. Hi, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Maritza. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fatima has to do that. Ya lo hice. Ah, okay. Oh, so. okay. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, Maritza. Okay. Now, Nubia, read your examples. Okay, the uh, one Andrea has to study for the exam. Uh -huh. And another, you have to clean your room. Uh, repeat it again. I didn't listen. You have to clean the, uh, your room. Ah, okay. Very good. Well, yeah, I have to clean the room. <laughs> Very good, Nubia. Thank you. There you go. Who else has finished? Okay. Go, teacher. Okay. Go for it, Fatima. I have to write examples in English. Okay. And second is Mari has to attend the clients. Okay. Attend the clients. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Fatima. Who else has finished? ¿Quién más ha terminado? Yo, teacher. Ok, go, go, Sara. Ok. Uh, I have to meet uh, the science girl. I have to, ok. I have to meet uh -huh, the science girl. Ok. Um, Jenny has to cover the holiday for me. On Sunday <laughs> for me. Holiday. Uh -huh. Oh, holiday. holiday. Ah, holiday. okay. Yeah. All right. Holiday. Okay. Mm. Not good covering holidays. <laughs> okay, Zara. Good. Thank you. All right. Who else has finished? I finished, chair. Okay. Read. Uh, I have to sleep a lot. Okay. Um, Tony has to cook the lunch. Okay. Very good, Carla. Thank okay. you. Finish, teacher. Okay, Vanessa. Go on. I have to send reports today. Okay. Carlos has to sleep in his house. Okay. Are you listening, Carlos? You have to sleep in your house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, who else has finished? Me, teacher. Okay. All right. Uh, first, Stephanie, and then Romeo. Okay. I have to cook after the class, and Nicole has to homework of math. Uh, you're missing the verb in the second example, uh, Stephanie. Read the second example again. Nicole 
has to homework? En este caso, antes de la palabra homework, eh, necesitamos un verbo, que en este caso, eh, eh, ah, el más común do. sería do. Exactly. Ok, entonces, Nicole has to do math homework. Ajá, the math homework. Ok, thank you, Stephanie. Now, Romeo. Sure. Yes, Maritza. It's nine o'clock. Yes, I'm, I'm just like, there are like three more uh, people finishing and I'm going to pass the attendance. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Nubia, someone took your, 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 your position of reminding me about the assistance. Hey, it's not dormia, Nubia. <laughs> Thank you, Maritza, for reminding me. El teacher sí le iba a decir, pero como ah. estaban dando los, los ejemplos. Ah. Ajá, sure. You forgot it. Yes. About it. <laughs> Romeo, let's read. After Romeo, I'm going to pass the attendance list and then we can continue. Okay. I have to warn more. Uh, um, give, me, give me a second. Read it again, please. I have to warn the caminar. Uh -huh. Morning. In the mornings. Ah, okay. In the morning. Yes. Y el otro sería. Jose. Jose has to eat fast. Ah, okay. Jose has to eat fast. Okay. Thank you, Romeo. All right. Uh, just give me a second. Para los que faltan, solo voy a pasar asistencia y luego continuamos. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to press assistance like, very quick sure. to continue. Uh -huh. Hola, hola. Yes. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Dígame, Nubia. Hello. Bueno. Hola, hola. Es que no sé si es mi internet o es, es el suyo, pero por rato se frisa. Ay, creo que en este caso es el suyo, porque mm -hmm. <ríe> creo que los demás se están moviendo así como eh, rapidito y así como que pero es que bueno, yo me muevo y ustedes quedan, yo me muevo y ustedes quedan prestados, entonces no sé. Suele si pasar, yo... ajá, suele pasar, así es cuando, así estaba ayer, justamente al principio de la clase. Y así como que, pero yo me puedo mover bien, I mean, I can watch myself in the camera, like I'm moving. ¿Y por qué los demás no se mueven? I was like, ah, my internet was like. Sí. Y Eric telling me, I was like. Hey, teacher, like, you're moving slow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that happens. That happens. Okay, let, let's start out with the attendance list. Ana Claribel is not here, right? Ana Maria. Eh, what happened to Ana Maria? Carlos Adelir. Where is Carlos? Present, present teacher. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay. Nubia, deje de ver la novela para que no le corte. It's just watching Betty La Fea. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, es Ana María, la de eso. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ever de Jesús. Present. Okay, good. Hey, Fátima Alejandra. Present. Okay. Uh, Hilmar Cruz. Present. Perfect. Jonathan Alexander. Where is Jonathan? Jonathan. <clears throat> Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay. He's not here. That's weird. He was here. Uh, Jorge Elber. All right. He's not here. Carla Benacer. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Margot Hernandez. Where is Margot? No, she's not here, right? Okay. Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Get the end of flow, Natalie. My God. Let's see, Romeo Alexis. 
precio el dicho. Ok. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ok. Thank you, Rosa. Ruth Joana. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Ok, uh, Stephanie Lisette. Stephanie, you there? Present teacher. Now, ok, there you go. Uh, Vanessa Oder. Present teacher. Ok, good. Let's see. William Alberto. Present. Ok. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Perfect. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Ok. Jennifer Noemi. Present teacher. Ok. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. Hey, the Diana is not here. No sé si comentar en esto. Ok, let's continue with, uh, with the topic. Let me check. I'm going to uh, share the presentation we have. Here we are. Ok, who, who has not participated? Bien, los que ya terminaron y no han participado, please help me out. In this case, I'm, a, I'm a starting with... Uh, Michel, le, le voy a hacer la dos Okay, okay. Uh, first Jennifer and then Natalie. Okay, I have to watch my form. Okay. Uh, uh, she has to go to work. She has to go to work, right? Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Tiene que ir a trabajar, eh? Yeah. <laughs> like me every morning, like at 4.30 a.m. It was like, when the alarm sounds and like rings, it's like, Jesus, why did I got born poor? It's like, ¿Por qué nací pobre? I mean, like, we got to go very early. <sighs> so sad. Natalie, your turn. Okay. I have to practice English. Yes. Uh, he has to go his house. To his house. To his house. Okay, very good, Natalie. Thank you. Hmm, let's see who's missing. I got the sensation that some people are missing. William? Yeah, okay. William has uh, Fernanda has to sleep his baby. Okay. And we have to complete these buildings now okay uh just the first one a uh, read, read number one please i just want to confirm something fernanda has to sleep his baby uh, okay you said fernanda right yes in this case in this day his coloquemosle her okay her. Yeah, her is para su de ella okay okay thank you william Let's see. And the other? The other one is correct. Build buildings. By the building. Mm -hmm. Buildings. Con yes. S al final. Yes. No problem. Because okay. it's plural, right? Edificios. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, William. Let's see who's missing. Uh, Rosa, did you participate already? Rosa. Are you there? Rosa, I, I think Rosa fell asleep. I know she's there. Hi, Rosa. Hi. Ya la hacía dormir. Okay, uh, do you have the examples or not, Rosa? Yes. Okay, read them. Okay. You have to pay the bill. Uh, he had to travel tomorrow. Okay. Yes, I had to pay the bills. Thank you, Rosa, for reminding me that I had to waste money this month. Okay. Who's who's next? Let me check. So yeah, I has participated. Ah, okay. Go. 
I have to study English every day. Okay, yes. Roger has to use the computer. Use. Use. Use, use the computer. Okay, very good, Rosana. Thank you. There you go. Is there somebody else that is missing? Hay alguien más que falte? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, go ahead. I have to clean my work. He has to drive to the airport. Airport. Okay. Airport. airport. Thank you, Ruth. Okay, who else is missing? I think everybody has missing, uh, has, has done it. Everybody has participated. Okay, let's move on. I am in you, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, yes. go, go on. I thought you have already participated. Go for I it. I have to go tomorrow. Uh-huh. Mm, Maria has to send an email to the client. Very good, Carlos. Okay, Maria has the same email to the client. Okay, perfect. So let's continue now. If there's any other participation. Okay, now let's do the negative form, right? We were talking about positive statements, first person, plurals, and third person. Now let's do the negative, okay? And let's start up with a, with a short definition. And for this definition, I want Jennifer Noemi to help me out reading. Really. We use don't have to, doesn't have to, to show lack of obligation in activities. Thank you, Jennifer. So what does it mean? It means that this is completely the opposite, right? From the positive statements. In the positive statement, it's an obligation to do something. Now, when you use negative statements, you are not obligated to do an activity, okay? So in that case, it's like the opposite. Then when you are not obligated to do an activity. Okay, let's continue. We got some examples in here. So let's see, Lisa Surrutia, read the example. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, does, I don't. Uh, give me a second, Stephanie. Vanessa, tell me. What does this mean, lack? Lack means falta. Lack of obligation is like como falta de obligación, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, o carencia, right, from something. That's lack. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Sorry, Mrs. Urrutia. Continue with uh, the reading the, the example. Okay, I don't have to eat three times a day. Now, nah, okay, very good. So, in that case, with this example, it's like, I am not obligated to eat three times a day, right? So, that is optional. It's not an obligation in this case. Like, when I say, like, I don't have to eat three times a day, you're like, no tengo que comer tres veces al día. So, you see, entonces... Ahí estoy demostrando que no es una obligación para mí hacer esa actividad, por así, por así decirlo, ¿ok? So, I'm not showing an obligation in this case. There you go. Let's continue. Okay. Second example. Uh, William, help me out reading, please. <coughs> Uh, the second. Yeah, number two. You don't have to buy new clothes. Thank you, William. Yeah. So in this case, it's like, right? Yeah, like, you don't have to buy new clothes. I mean, no tienes que comprar ropa nueva, right? That's not an, obliga that's not an obligation. Ah, pero tres, las, 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 las señoritas eh. y señoras de acá están viendo así como que, what? For me, it's an obligation, sis. Es una obligación para todas ellas, right? Los 30 Así como, exactly. Yeah, I mean, los 30 bitcoins <laughs> in, 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 in shoes, on a skirt, <laughs> a shirt. 
Yes, mire Maritza dice, yes, yes, of course. No. <laughs> Ay, Maritza. No, teacher, me dio risa porque hoy pasé por un, por un toldito de esos de chivo y estaba súper lleno. Y pensé, ah, ¿cuántos zapatos van a comprar? No, only. <laughs> Yes, a lot of them. Nubia ya se lo gastó, dice. En un par de zapatos. Right, Nubia? I don't uh, uh, down. You have the, done the, the, the application? Application, yes. I don't, I don't. Nah, okay, cool. Yo molesto a mi esposa y le digo, porque ella dice, no, yo no la voy a descargar. Dormida le voy a tomar la foto y le voy a, le voy a, a, a robar el duil. It's like, no, you cannot do that. And blah, blah, blah. And she's like, you know, like, I'm messing with him. You don't know, teacher? Huh? No, you I, don't know that. I haven't. Pero le digo a ella que cuando la descargue, voy a descargar lo mío y le voy a tomar el, el, el do y le voy a tomar una foto dormida. And she's like, no, you don't have to do that. Oh, yeah, yes. No, but... I mean, is that that is optional, right? If you can download it or not, you know, it's like like not an obligation. So we can use an example. You don't have to download, all right? They show up if you don't want. <laughs> so you see, it's like not an obligation, right? Okay, let's keep going. The example number three is gonna be read by Ruth. Help me out reading, Ruth. Yes, teacher. Read example number three, please. Um, you don't have to buy any clothes. Uh, no, the next one, the next one. Uh, we don't have to speak Chinese. Chinese. Okay. Chinese. Very good, Ruth. Yeah, I mean, like, we don't have to speak Chinese, right? That's an, not an obligation. Okay, good. Thank you, Ruth. Okay, let's keep going. So I think this is the last, the last example I have. Let me check. Now nah, I have another one. All right. Uh, this one, Hilmar, help me out reading. Hilmar. What's up with Hilmar? Hello, teacher. <laughs> Solo estaba atendiendo una, una llamada. Ajá, ajá. Yeah, I mean, like, hey, hey, baby, I'm going to get late today. <laughs> <laughs> ajá, Hilmar. Okay, let's read the, the, the last example. The last example. They don't help to write emails. Ah, okay, very good. It's like, so they are not in the obligation to write emails, right? So that is expressing there, like they don't have to write emails. There you go. Uh, with these examples, people, and the structure, do you have any question? Any question with this structure? I have a question. Okay, William, go on. Uh, this had to and has to is when no debo o tengo siempre el, el tener exactly en este caso William el, el have to o has to es like tengo que así lo ahí podemos... no es debo de solo no, tengo este, que exacto en este caso el debo de ya sería utilizando must okay. must eh, aunque viene siendo algo similar porque must también es para obligaciones Okay, para denotar obligaciones, like obligations. Solo que must is for legal obligations. Okay, ya yeah, must es un tanto como más formal. In the spoken English, si ponemos a comparación must y have to, have to es más usado. Okay, it's like more common than must. It's like tengo que hacer esto, right? Like tengo que. So it's likely similar to must, but it's mostly used like have to. Entonces, William, es like, tengo que o tienes que. Ok, thank you. Ok. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra duda? Ok. Ok, 
you don't have any other question, let's continue. Okay, now let's use doesn't have to. Third person of structure. And we got it in here. Take a look at that. We got the subject, right? Plus doesn't have to, plus main verb, plus complement. So in this case, in este caso, ya no usaremos don't have to, sino que doesn't. Why? Porque acá ya estamos hablando de, so, ok, tercera persona o singular, ok. Y acá ya no hablamos sobre primera, segunda uh, persona o plurales. Acá ya estamos hablando de una tercera persona, all right, or singular nouns. Por eso utilizamos el doesn't. Y el have to siempre permanece eh, eh, tal y como está la have to. ¿Por qué? Porque la modificación la sufre el verbo auxiliar, que en este caso es eh, doesn't, okay? que antes era do, okay? y que en tercera persona o en singular, recordemos, todo verbo que termine en o se le agrega es en singular o tercera persona. Por eso se convierte en das, más el not, Unido, ahí es doesn't. We got some examples. Roxana, help me on reading the first example, please. She doesn't have to wear skirt. Wear skirt. Wear skirt. Okay, very good. Uh, by the way, what is skirt, people? What is the word skirt? Falda. Yes, thank you, Jennifer. She doesn't, uh, you know, she doesn't have to wear skirts. Like, ella no tiene, me, o sea, no tiene por qué usar, like, faldas. That's like, not an obligation, right? Y ahí estamos hablando de que no es una obligación. Who's next? Vanessa. Since I, I, I saw you that you were reading, so help me out reading. He doesn't have to play basketball. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. Yeah, he doesn't have to play basketball, right? He's not in the obligation to play basketball. Or that's that's good, right? So in that case, we use doesn't because we got he. Natalie, tell me already. Helen doesn't doesn't have to wash the car. Okay, thank you, Natalie. So you see, we got a third person using proper nouns. In this case, we don't have she. We got a proper noun. In this case, Helen, right? Helen doesn't have to wash the car. Like, Helen no tiene por qué lavar el carro, right? If she doesn't want. So that is not an obligation. Okay, cool. Right up to now, people. Uh, using these examples and reading these examples, do you have any question? Related to the third person structure in negative? No. No questions? No, no doubts? Una consulta. Ah. No me quedó claro eh, la diferencia entre cuando vamos a usar el have to con el does y la, con el have to el doesn't. Ah, that, okay. en este caso sería don't. Don't. Ajá. Eh, en este caso, eh, si gusta, me explica esta última parte. Pero... Ok, perfect. Yes, I will. I will. Give me a second. I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to use this, 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 this. Ok, listen up, uh, Rosana. In this case, I just want you to be clear with this. We got don't. Ok. And we got doesn't okay doesn't is used in third person or singular nouns so doesn't is used mostly with he she it or singular nouns nombres singulares like helen like roxana okay like romeo don't is mostly used for I, you, we, they, and plural nouns. 
plural nouns. ¿Ok? Si los ponemos en un contexto, en oraciones negativas, Roxana, ejemplo, con plural nouns. Check this out. Sara and... Uh, así. Hilmar. Acá yo tendría que colocar don't. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy hablando de un plural. Y la regla me dice que cuando hable de, de plurales, tengo que utilizar don't. ¿Ok? Sara and Hilmar don't have to... Ah, Cook dinner. Let's put it this way. Sara and Hilmar don't have to cook dinner. Like, Sara y Hilmar no tienen por qué cocinar o, o hacer la cena, right? If they don't want. Entonces acá utilizamos don't porque estamos hablando acá de un plural. ¿Por qué? Porque acá tenemos dos personas, right? Two people, like Sara and Hilmar. Ahora bien, third person, uh, Roxana. Check, check this out. Roxana doesn't. ¿Por qué doesn't? Porque hay una regla, Roxana, si recuerda los módulos anteriores, que nos indica que el ver todo verbo que termine en O se le agrega ES. ¿Ok? En este caso, el verbo principal es do. ¿Ok? Pero la regla que estuvimos estudiando hace un par de módulos atrás nos dice que todo verbo en singular, cuando usamos tercera persona, todo verbo que termine en O se le agrega ES. Entonces, do se convierte en das. ¿Ok? Entonces, a das, acá le agregamos el not. No. Does not. ¿Ok? Pero acá lo estamos uniendo. We are contracting does plus not. ¿Ok? In one single word. So, in this case, we put it this way. Entonces, la ponemos de esta manera. Doesn't. Unida, contractada. Roxana doesn't have to, you see, um, what? Roxana doesn't have to, um, let's put work, okay, extra hours. So you see? O oh, pongámosle en una sola palabra. Overtime. Like this. Okay, in este caso acá, that's why I have doesn't. Okay. Y tengo acá have to porque acá no sufre modificación el have to porque la modificación la está sufriendo el verbo auxiliar. En este caso pasa de don't a doesn't porque estamos usando un singular o tercera persona. Third person. I don't know if you're clear, Roxana. Oh, sí, teacher. Gracias. Hoy sí ya comprendí. Perfect. Let's continue then. Teacher. Yes. In interpersonal, we use has to. Mm -hmm. But in negative, we use have to. Doesn't have to. Porque... Doesn't have, have to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué usamos ahí doesn't have to? Ya el have to, la estructura se utiliza en forma base. Porque ya no hay necesidad, Eric, de colocar has to porque el auxiliar está haciendo la acción. The auxiliary verb is doing the action. En este caso es doesn't. Eh, let's continue. Do you have any other extra opinion about that? No, teacher. Thank you. Okay, cool. Entonces, por eso es que ya ahí cambia, right? Completely. Por el auxiliar siempre. Ah, entonces, cuando no tenemos el auxiliar, what happened? La estructura, en este caso, have to, está en la obligación de cambiar a has to. Has en to. tercera persona, en positivo. ¿Por qué? Porque no usamos auxiliary words. There you go. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, very good. Clear all my drawings. Let's continue. So, Helen doesn't have to watch the car. Uh, besides the questions from your classmates, do you have an extra question, people? ¿Tenemos alguna otra duda? Like for the rest of the class? No? Nope. No. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Okay, ahora bien. We were talking about positive statements 
negative statements. Now let's talk about questions using have to or has to. The structure. In here, remember, in here we can use the WH words. And remember that when we talk about the WH words are like what, where, what time, who, why, okay? Those are like the WS words to make or create information questions, okay? Information questions. Then we got do, in this case, vamos a ver primero los eh, primeras personas o uh, plurales, por eso tenemos do eh, en la estructura, plus subject, plus have to, plus the main verb o verbo principal, plus complement, right? O complemento, plus the yes. question mark. Okay. Question mark. Yes. And we got some examples. Let's see. Carlos, help me out reading the first example, please. Where do you do? Where do you have to use your phone? Okay. Thank you. So you see, where do you have to use your phone? Like, donde tienes que usar tu celular? Jennifer, read the answer. Repeat the question, please. Read the answer from the question. <laughs> oh, I have to use my phone in my house. Now, okay, very good. I have uh, to use my phone or cell phone, you know, in my house. So you see, entonces acá, la pregunta, o sea, la clave de la pregunta es, where, donde? Ahí en realidad no preguntamos sobre la actividad, sino dónde realizamos la actividad, ¿ok? Where do you have to use your phone? I have to use my phone in my house. As an example, you might say, I have to use my phone in the office. I have to use my phone, uh, I don't know, like in the school, in the academy, whatever you want to say, right? But you have to mention a place, a specific place. Second question, Sara, tell me already, please. Uh, what time do you have to be at work? Okay, listen up. Thank you, uh, Sara. What time do you have to be at work? ¿A qué hora tiene que estar en el trabajo? Nubia? At eight o'clock. I have to be at work. At eight a.m. A.m. Okay. Thank you, Nuria. All right. I have to be at work at eight a.m. Do you see? That is the answer to that question. Why? Because in that case, we are asking about the time in which that activity is being done. Right. And we got the structure. Have to. Right. What time did you have to be at work? Good. Uh, I don't know if you have any question with the uh, question formation structure. Using, uh, in this case, we're using, let me check, first person. Yeah, we're using you in both questions. Any question with the, with this structure? Tenemos alguna duda en cuanto al uso de esta estructura en primera eh, persona? Recordemos que acá la podemos hacer en plurales también, okay? Usando we or they, and this is completely normal. Vamos a, a, a usar siempre la misma estructura. Esa es solo para primera persona, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Podemos hacer en plurales? Of course. Example, hey, Mark. What time, usando siempre el mismo what time. What time do we, ya sería we, like nosotros. What time do we have to start the class? ¿A qué horas ah. tenemos que comenzar la clase? Ah, es bien. Ah, no, give me a complete answer. Oración completa, Hilmer. <laughs> I have to... Ah, Hilmer. We, we, remember. Ah, we, we, okay. We have to start to 8 p.m. We have to start the class. At the class. Yes. At 8 p.m. Okay. Yes, very good. Entonces ahí ya estamos usando un plural, Hilmar, okay? 
usando we. Entonces, ¿podemos usar con they? Of course, yeah, we can use they. Y, y okay. lo único que vamos a cambiar ahí, entonces, es el, el subject. ¿Ok? The subject is the one that changes there. Ok, this is related to first person and plurals. Now, let's, let's see third person. Ok, and this is the structure. So, you see, entonces acá, ¿qué es lo único que cambia en la estructura? In comparison to the other one. Que ahora no tenemos do, tenemos does. You see, that's different, right? Now is the third form of the verb, right? So we got the WS word plus does, plus subject, plus have to, plus member, and plus complement. En este caso, ¿por qué decíamos que no cambiamos have to a has to? Porque tenemos auxiliar. Sí, el auxiliar. Yes, exactly. Ya está el auxiliar modificado. Examples. Eric, help me reading the question. Okay, teacher, what does she have to do? Okay. What does she have to do? ¿Qué tiene que hacer ella? Oh, you see, uh, Rosa. Read the answer. She has to do the chores. Okay, very good, Rosa. She has to do the chores. Ahora bien, ¿por qué en la respuesta ya va has to? Porque recordemos que en la respuesta ya es una oración positiva. Ya no necesitamos un auxiliar. Ya no necesitamos de el auxiliar das en este caso. Because that's a positive statement, right? That is a positive answer. Okay? So that's why we got has to. Entonces, por eso la estructura se ve obligada a cambiar de have to a has to in third person. Okay? Okay, let's continue. I think I got another question. Yeah, I have it. Let me see who has not participated this time. Marisa, tell me a reading. Who does he have to talk with? Okay. Who does he have to talk with? With. Very good. Ever, help me a reading the answer. He has to talk with his boss. Nah, okay. Very good. He has to talk with his boss, right? Él tiene que hablar con su jefe. So, you see? So, en este caso, ahí sí ya es uh, una obligación para nosotros gramaticalmente hablando el utilizar has to. ¿Ok? Porque no tenemos, recuerden, no tenemos auxiliar. In the answer. All right, people. Do you have any questions related to this? ¿Tenemos alguna duda con relación a este tipo de preguntas y respuestas? Using third person or singulars? No? No? Okay. Cool. I love it. It means that uh, yeah, we're up to. Okay, what are we going to do now? Now that we got and that we know all related to the topic, Let's go to the manual. Let's work in the manuals. I'm going to stop sharing this presentation and let's go straight to the manual. Yes, I got it. I'm going to change. Okay, now we got the manual here. And what are we going to do here? We're going to scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down to this to this short conversation in the following page, right? This is the page 11, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, page 11. What are we going to do in this case? Listen up. Because we need to practice conversation, all right? Let's read this, this one that we got here. Acá ya tenemos entonces la estructura usada ya en una conversación. 
So what are we do, what are we gonna do with this conversation? Listen, voy a leer la conversación one time, okay, slow. And if you have any questions related to the vocabulary, mark the vocabulary and at the end of the conversation practice, let me know about the vocabulary, okay? There you go. Entonces, podemos practicar la conversación. Voy a ir al espacio para que la podamos practicar. La pueden hacer ahí con los micrófonos apagados, ¿ok? No problem. Ok, this is a conversation between Aaron and Sam. And it says, Aaron, it says, the new material, listen up, the new material just just arrived, arrived in the morning, in the morning. Tell Max, okay, listen, tell Max that he has to store everything, that he has to store everything. And Sam says, where does he have to store the boxes. Where does he have to store the boxes? Adam says, he and Ivan, he and Ivan have to, have to store them, store them, in the warehouse, in the warehouse. And it's a sum, okay. But there are many boxes. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Can they use the lift? Aaron says, they have to use the lift. They have to use the lift. But ask and tell the secretary first. But ask and tell the secretary first. And it's a sum. She is going to say, they can use it. She is going to say they can use it. Then, then I'm going to tell Max, I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. What they have to do. All right, people, from this conversation, do you have any questions related to the vocabulary or pronunciation? Okay, how do you say arriving? Arriving. Uh, arriving. Arriving. Yeah, arrived. la pronunciación de este verbo, este es un verbo regular, ok, e, y está en pasado simple. Lo que significa que lleva ed. En este caso, lo único que se pronuncia es la d. Al final, arrived. Ok, with the d at the end. Arrived. arrived. Yes, aquí no es arrived. arrived. No, es arrived. Ok. Arrived. That's the correct pronunciation. Thank you, Christian. Ok. Arrived. Yes. Right. Any other question with the vocabulary or pronunciation? Teacher. Yes, sir. The meaning of lift. Lift. Lift elevator. Elevator. Okay. Yeah, elevator. Yeah, that's a lift. Mm -hmm. Elevator. Elevator. Yes. Any other uh, word that we got problems with? Okay. 
Okay, I think we don't have any other uh, where, right? Uh, for example, what is warehouse? Do we know the meaning of warehouse? Bodega, almacenaje. Yes. It's the place, right? Es un lugar, bodega, donde podemos guardar todo tipo de producto, almacenar todo tipo de producto. That's a warehouse. Bodega. There you go. Okay, if we don't have any other question, what are we gonna do? Listen up. We're gonna practice this for about five minutes. How are we gonna practice this conversation? Listen. We get exactly 10 minutes to do it, okay? Vamos a tener exactamente seis minutos para poder practicar esta conversación, okay? I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms and in pairs, ya que ustedes ya tienen los manuales, Okay, let's go to that page and let's practice this for about six minutes. Vamos a practicar esta conversación por seis minutos, okay? Then we're gonna come back in here and we're gonna see uh, right after that what we can do, okay? So give me a second. I'm gonna stop sharing and we're gonna uh, go and practice this conversation. So give me a question. How many people are we right now? 19. Mm. Automatically, it's gonna be one group of three. Habrá un grupo de tres, okay? What are we gonna do there? Let's practice the three, and the, the rest is gonna be in pairs, right? Good. Una pareja de tres, teacher. Uh, yes, mm. habrá un grupito de tres. Una pareja de tres. Un trío. <laughs> Uy, yeah, un trío. A ver. Okay, let's go and practice, right? For about six minutes. Okay, let's accept it. And let's go to work. Let's go to practice that conversation. Pueden ver la, la, sí, la conversación. Sí. sí. Okay. Um, Hi, Roxana. Yes. All right. Um, Hi, people. Hi. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, uh, Maritza. In this case, let's do a circle conversation. How come, for example, Maritza, you can practice with William, then William can practice with Roxana, and then Roxana can practice with you, like doing a circle, right? Since you are three, you can do it that way. Okay? okay. All right. Okay. Okay, okay let's, let's do it. Uh, I start. Okay. This was start the box. He and Avon have to start then in the warehouse in the warehouse okay but there are many boxes and they use it the lid they have to use the lid but ask and tell the secretary first she is going to say they can use use it then i going to tell max and ivan what they have to do. Comienza de nuevo. Sí. The new material just arrived in the morning. Then must that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the dice? They have to use. I said teacher. Teacher. Hello. 
Este podría poner un momento la, la conversación para tomarle captura. Para tomar captura. Ah, ok, let me know. Para no hacer una mala pose ahí. <risa> ah, what did I do? Give me a second. Give me a second that I have lost. Permítame que, que hice el, el manual. Ah, I got it here. Ok, it's in here. Okay, so. Bye, teacher. <laughs> the happy face. <laughs> ya me dolía la sonrisa, dice. <laughs> yes, of course. No quería ahí quedar con la boca toda doblada like last time. <laughs> No sé por qué tengo el presentimiento que usted está algún sticker ha de tener de mí. No, no, no. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, no me queda pero ni tiempo para estar haciendo sticker de nadie. Ok, you got a lot of work. Ok. Ok, let's practice, let's practice. Because it's almost okay. time. Ok. Eh, comienzas, Natalie. Está, está bien. Eh, The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that they has to store everything. Sí. Okay. Hi. Teacher. Hi. Have you been practicing? Uh, yes, yes, teacher. Pero, pero si gusta. Que empiece usted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, inicio. Uh, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max uh, that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? lift? They have to use the lift. Uh, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, ahora inicio, inicio usted. Very nice people, right? I'm going to check another group. That's pretty cool. Okay, sure. The new material just arrived in the morning. Ay, teacher, justo acabamos de terminar y usted entró. I'm sorry. ¿Lo repetimos? Yes, of course. Ok. Eh, vamos a ver si lo podemos compartir. Aquí está. Ahí está, ahí está usted, mire. Diciéndonos hey, hey. cómo. Ah. <laughs> Se nos queda un poquito boca abierta, pero... Oh my God, al menos a ese hombre ahí el aire. Hey, teacher, screenshot. So I can smile. Ah, Lo okay. vamos a intentar, aunque es más divertido así. Ok, let's do it. Comienza. Sí. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that the, he has to start everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and the bank what they have to do. Excellent, people. Very good. You did it excellent. Okay, okay I'm going to check other groups, right? And then we, okay. we're going to go back, okay? Give me a couple okay, of minutes. All right. Hello, do you finish? Hi, teacher. Yes. You practice? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Mm, Practicamos para que nos escuchen. Sí es. Yes, of course. Like one time. Let's go for it. Okay. 
Si gusta, inicie, Carlos. Ok. The new material, materials just arrive in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They come to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary five first. Yes. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay. Teacher, eh, la yes. palabra lift yes. es lift. Yeah, lift. O la... Lift. No, lift. 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 Okay. Con la pronunciación de la T al final. Lift. 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 Yes, para okay. decir like elevador, right? Okay. Very good, all that. Like, so, very good, people. So I'm going to check another people, right? And then we're going to move back just to finish the class, okay? Thank okay. you, teacher. Give me a couple of seconds. Okay. All right, number seven. Where does he have to store everything? Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They had to use the lift, but as and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ava what they have to do. Very good, Anna, and very good, Eric. Okay. Okay. Give it. Yeah. Ever English. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm gonna check another group and then uh, we're gonna like go back to the main section to finish the class, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank nice. you. Okay, I'm gonna check uh, number eight. Oh. Okay. Okay, uh, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Matt that he has to study everything. Where, where does he have to store the boxes? He and Avon had to study them in the warehouse. Okay. But they are many boxes. Can they use the life? Lift. 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 They had to use the lift, but as um tell the secretary Peter. She's going to say they can use it. They I am going to tell Max and Ivan, ¿cómo sería por dicho? Ivan. Ivan. What they have to do. Excellent, Sara and Romeo. Okay, good. I'm okay. just going to check another group and then finish the class, all right? So go to the okay, main okay. section. Okay, give me a second. Huh? Hello, girls. Hello, teacher. Let's go. Yes, I know. You're the last group. I just need to listen to your conversation. And then we're going to go back to finish the, the class, okay? Let's practice. I want to listen to you practicing one time. No. Okay, let's start. Okay. All right. Who's going to start? Game by commencer. Uh, I am teaching. Okay. The the new mater material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to start everything. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, where, uh, 
No problem, Ruth. Let's continue. Okay. Ella dijo Aaron, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. 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 Uh -huh. Where does he have to store the boxes? Very good. He and um, Ivan have to store them in the, in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Boxes. Can they use the leaf? They have to use the leaf, but has, but has, and tell the secretary here. She's going to say the can. She is going to say they can use it if. Then I am going to tell the Max and even what they have to do. Okay, very good. So thank you, Ruth and Vanessa. You did it perfect. Okay. So now let's okay. go. Let's go back to the main section. Okay, to finish the class. Okay. See you there. Okay, uh, <laughs> creo que se extendió un poquito la conversación, like, like the practice, because I needed like to check all of you, all of the, like, you know, like the, the pairs, like practicing. That's why it took like a little bit longer. So I'm sorry to take you out like almost eight minutes, more than eight minutes from, from like past, past, past 10, okay? Uh, that was just part of the practice, right? Using have to and has to in context, okay? By tomorrow, I mean, by tomorrow, by uh, Monday, we're gonna finish up the activity related uh, to have to and has to that we got below that uh, page. And I'm talking about this. Listen, ya para irnos, okay. Quiero que lean esta parte durante el fin de semana, ¿ok? Y simplemente me seleccionen acá la forma apropiada para terminar la oración, ya sea have to o has to, ¿ok? Esa sería como a modo de tarea, like, like extra homework in the manual for Monday, ¿ok? El lunes vamos a revisar entonces esta parte, ¿ok? Good. So, there you go. So, ahorita voy a pasar asistencia and then we can leave. Give me a second. No, let me see. Ana Claribel. Present. Ah, Ana, you're here. Right. Ana, mm -hmm. today is going to be your 10 minutes feedback, okay? It was yesterday, but since you didn't show up yesterday, Ana Maria took your place. So let's okay. stay today, okay? Good. Ana Maria is not here. Carlos Ademir. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Nice. Eder de Jesús. Present. Perfect. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Nice. Helmar Cruz. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan Alexander. And Jonathan left, right? Probably he has problems with the internet. Uh, Jorge Elvir. He didn't show up today. Uh, let's see. Carla Benacid. Present teacher. Perfect. Margot Hernandez. I think she's the one that show, show up today. Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay. Romeo Alexis. Presentation. Okay, nice. Rosa del Carmen. Mm -hmm. Present. Ah, yeah, you're there. Okay. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Perfect. Stephanie Lisset. Present. Okay, very good. Vanessa Odette. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. William Alberto. 
Present. Ok. Roxana Yesenia. Present, teacher. Nice. Nubia Zulema. Present. Ok, thank you. Jennifer Noemi. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. And Diana Gabriela, that is not here. Ok, people. Present. Ok, thank you. Oh, where is, where is Diana? No, ok, all right. So thank you for uh, taking it like, like more than 10 minutes extra from, from the time people, but it was necessary to practice. So entonces, eh, si no tenemos <coughs> nada más que agregar eh, al tema de esta noche, los espero el próximo lunes y tengan un buen fin de semana. You know, like, do the homework, hagan la tarea número dos y la número uno el fin de semana, ok? Y nos vemos el próximo lunes a las 8 en punto, ok? Bye bye, people. Bye. Okay. Take bye. Care. Happy Lessons. weekend, everybody. Thank Dale. you. Bye Happy bye. Weekend. Ana, good night. Ana, se me queda. Good night. Good night. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> bye bye. Stay with me, Ana García. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. You're there. Okay. Now, so we're going to have 10 minutes, Ana María. I mean, Ana María. Ana García used to, you know, like, provide a feedback from yesterday's class and today's class. Okay, I don't know if you have any question with today's class. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta con la clase de esta día, a mí, de esta noche. Eh, y esa que me conecté ya casi cuando estaba explicando lo de lo de la cuestión. Uh -huh. No sé si el do y el das es igual como nos ha explicado anteriormente. Yes. Eh, primera y tercera persona. Yes. Lo mismo. Es prácticamente lo mismo. How, where can we use do? Eh, in this case, igual. Vamos a usar do como auxiliar. ¿Ok? ¿Con qué pronombres? Ah, usamos con I, you, we, They and plural nouns. Ok. Ahora bien, when do we use does? Does is mostly used with he, he, she, it o singular nouns. Nombres en singular. Yes. Let's remember, recordemos que entonces estos auxiliares, porque este es, es un verbo auxiliar, lo vamos a utilizar nada más en preguntas y en oraciones negativas. ¿Ok? Ya en oraciones positivas no se puede usar. All right? It, it is not necessary to use it. Ok. Y negative statements, usando oraciones negativas. Check this out. I don't... ¿Por qué don't? Porque aquí unimos el do y el not. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Contractor. Yes. I don't. Y ponemos la estructura que hoy estuvimos trabajando. Have to um, sleep early. I don't have to sleep early. Like, no tengo que dormir temprano. You see? It is not an obligation. Ahí no estoy denotando una obligación. ¿Ok? That is optional. Ok, usando don't. El, igual, de igual forma el how con el has sería igual, ¿verdad? En yes. tercera persona vamos a utilizar el has. Sí. Exactly. Ajá, ah, ya se lo voy a poner acá abajo. Ahorita nada más estamos con los negativos. ¿Ok? Para que podamos entender. Claro, de mejor manera. Ahora bien, tenemos acá, entonces podemos usar cualquiera de los pronombres que tenemos ahí. Podemos poner they. Don't have to hmm, what buy food. All right? They don't have to buy food. Ellos no tienen que comprar comida. Okay. Ahora, help me out with one example. Ayúdeme con un ejemplo usted. Lo voy a anotar acá. We don't. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
é rato. Aham. Uh -huh. It. It. Não sei se... It. Pupusas. Pupusas. Ok. Like, we don't have to eat pupusas. Não temos que comer pupusas. Então, aí, estamos denotando que que não é uma obrigação comer pupusas. Ok? A isso se refere. Good. Agora bem, exemplos em terceira persona. This is different. Por quê? Porque aqui, neste caso, utilizamos doesn't. Ok? Ou does mas not. Not. Uh -huh. Então, decimos, em exemplo, she doesn't have to ok uh, buy a new cell phone you see she doesn't have to buy a new cell phone ella no tiene que comprar un nuevo celular ok entonces tenemos doesn't ¿por qué? porque acá tenemos she yes Hablamos nada más de una persona en singular, ¿verdad? Right? Una tercera persona. Ajá. En este caso, ha no cambia. No cambia, exactly. ¿Por qué no cambia? Ah, porque ya está cambiando el auxiliar. El auxiliar mm. es el que ha cambiado. Entonces, ya no hay necesidad de que have to tenga una modificación o cambia has to. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? Por eso es que no cambia. Porque ya hemos cambiado eh, el do. En este caso, el don't por el doesn't. ¿Ok? Se ha modificado el verbo auxiliar. ¿Ok? Good. Ayúdeme con un ejemplo acá. So let's see if we can if we understood. He doesn't. Ok. Have to. Uh, play. Uh, volleyball. Ok. Very good. He doesn't have to play volleyball. Right? Right? Él no tiene por qué jugar volleyball. Right? It's not an obligation. Ahí ya no estamos denotando una obligación. Ok. This is in negative. Now, check this out. Ahora bien, tenemos have to y tenemos has, has, has to en oraciones positivas. Ok, let's put it here. Positive statements. Oraciones positivas, right? Positive statements. Example. Check this out. I have to um, teach English. I have to teach English. ¿Qué estoy denotando acá? Estoy denotando que es una obligación para mí. It's like, tengo que enseñar inglés. Ok, entonces acá estamos ya hablando de una obligación. Ok. Now, in here. Okay. Ahora bien, una en tercera persona. Ana has to practice English. In the, uh, let's put it, in the class. Uh, let's put it this way. Ana has to practice. Ahora bien, ¿por qué tengo has to? Porque aquí ya en oraciones positivas no llevo el verbo auxiliar eh, eh, que está acá, que es el doesn't. ¿Ok? Entonces, por eso en esta oración positiva tengo que tener has to y no have to. Ya cambia. Yes, it changes. Ya cambia, exacto. Ok, good. Deme otro, otro ejemplo de una oración en positivo, por favor. Eh, no importa, primero o tercera. Hagamos una primera en, en primera y luego otra en tercera. You We We have to We have We have to, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, give me a second. I'm going to write it down here. Lo voy a anotar. Yes, give a sequence. Give me a second. 
Okay, we have to eh, cook. Cook. No sé si cocinar. Cook. Yes, cook. Cook. Eh, cooking. This one, cookies. Mm -hmm. Okay, we okay, I'm gonna make cookies, all right. Ah, we have to cook cookies, okay? There you go. Ahí no le decirlo así, solo es food cooking, no es food in the cooking o algo así, no. Eh, si solo lo quiere dejar así sin mencionar cookies, we have to cook. Sí, está correcto ya. ¿Por qué? Okay. Porque ahí ya contiene eh, los, los elementos de una oración completa, que es subject, la estructura en este caso del have to y el verbo principal. I have to cook. Tengo que cocinar. Right? That's correct. Okay. Ya el complemento, recuerde, solo para hacer la oración más específica. All right? Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, now, let's use it in third person. Give me one in third person. He has to. He has to. Uh -huh. uh, listen to music. He has to listen to music. Okay, very good. He has to listen to music, right? Like, él tiene que escuchar música. All right, that is an obligation. En este caso acá, ya lo estamos tomando como una obligación, right? Y positive statements. Very good. Entonces acá, ya tenemos cómo sufre el cambio este verbo, okay? Que have to es para... I, you, we, they, and plural nouns, he has to, is for he, she, and it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, Anna. I don't know if you have any, any extra question with this. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta adicional uh, con respecto al tema. Mm, la verdad, este, quizás como ya esto ya lo hemos practicado un poco. Anteriormente, no mucho. Ajá, yes. Este. Quiero verte lo último. De, en, en cuestión de, de preguntas, uh -huh. sería igual, ¿verdad? Exactly. Eh, viendo, eh. Exactly. Ya en cuestión de preguntas, sí. Eh, podríamos decir que tenemos dos modelos de pregunta una que se puede responder con yes, no y la otra que es information question con la yes, no question por, por, por ejemplo podemos decir do you have to uh, work every day do you have to work every day like ¿Tienes que trabajar todos los días? Entonces, acá las opciones de respuestas son yes o no. Si es positivo, yes, I do. ¿Ok? Si es negativa, no, I don't. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, si estamos usando una tercera persona, sería das Ana have to yeah, participate in the class. Does Ana have to participate in the class? ¿Tiene Ana que participar en la clase? Ah, las opciones de respuesta. Si es positivo, yes, she does, o no. She doesn't. ¿Ok? Estas son preguntas eh, eh, cortas o preguntas utilizando yes, no question. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, están las preguntas a las que les agregamos las WH words. ¿Recuerda las WH words, Ana? Eh, what, where. Yes. What time, when, why, which, who. Entonces, esas son las WH words. Entonces, podemos crear preguntas con esas. Son preguntas informativas o information questions. Example. Check this out. What 
do you have to cook? It's like, Ana, what do you have to cook? ¿Qué tiene que cocinar? Ah, usted puede decir, I have to cook the dinner. You see? Si no, puede, si no quiere decir the dinner, puede decir... Um, let me check. The dinner, you might say, uh, I have to cook pasta. I have to cook vegetables. I have to cook beans. I have to cook rice. Okay. Y cualquier otro, otro, otro eh, nombre, right? Another noun. Ahora bien, esto es en primera persona. Ahora en tercera persona. Listen up. Who does, en este caso ya utilizamos does. El okay. does. Yes. ¿Por qué? Porque el subject va a ser este. Who does Anna have to call to? Who does Anna have to call to? ¿A quién tiene que llamar Ana? Who does Ana have to call to? ¿Ok? ¿A quién tiene que llamar Ana? Ok. La respuesta. Ana has to. ¿Por qué tenemos has to en la respuesta, Ana? Ah, porque sencillo. Es porque es tercera persona y porque es una respuesta en positivo. Entonces, ¿qué sucede cuando usamos un positivo, una oración positiva? No lleva auxiliar, no lleva do, no lleva does. ¿Ok? That's why. Entonces, por eso el verbo cambia de have to a has to. ¿Ok? Ana has to call, que es el verbo principal, to her husband. Okay. Ana tiene que llamar a su esposo. You see? In that case, it's like this. Now, different. Okay. Good, Ana. No sé, I, I think just to finish, me gustaría que me diera un ejemplo de una pregunta en tercera persona. Information question. Just to see if we have understood this part. Eh... Where does? Okay. Where does? David. Okay. David. David have to? Yes. Have to. Aha. Uh -huh. Eh, no sé si puede hacer ¿Dónde está David? Work Work, ajá Ok, la puede dejar hasta ahí la pregunta Ajá Where does David have to work? Ah, ¿dónde tiene que trabajar David? Good, deme una respuesta Give me an answer David Ok, David Has. Has. To. To. Work. Work. Eh, in. In San Miguel. Ok, very good. Yes, entonces acá ya tenemos una oración completa, una respuesta completa a la pregunta. Where does David have to work? Ah, David has to work. In San Miguel. Very good, Ana. Yes. Okay. That's, that's how we formulate questions. Entonces, de esa manera es como creamos preguntas utilizando have to. Okay. Y los auxiliares de forma eh, adecuada. Okay. All right. I don't know if you have an extra question, Ana. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta adicional. Mm, pues creo que, bueno, lo que vi que estaban viendo ahora, no. La verdad, ayer sí no sé qué viera, pero voy a ver el, el video. Ajá, you can watch the video conference. Ajá. Uh -huh. Voy okay. a ver el video para ver. 
no, sea okay. algo relacionado. No, ok, perfecto. Muy bien, sí, entonces podemos ver el video de la videoconferencia y ya entonces eh, para el lunes me gustaría que la tarea 1 y 2 de, ya de la plataforma ya estén hechas, ¿ok? Para así ya llevar todo en, digamos, en, en secuencia porque el próximo miércoles, el miércoles terminaríamos la semana 1, ¿ok? Entonces el miércoles yo tengo que enviar notas y así pues para que el miércoles ya no tenga que hacer todo en un solo día, ¿verdad? Right? So exactly, right? Exactly. All right, Anna? No, okay. Perfect, Anna. Let me see. Stop sharing. Good. I don't know if you have an extra question, Anna. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta adicional. Creo que no, teacher. Prácticamente este. Ya le compré un poco más de cuando That is good. That is good. All right. eso es bueno entonces ahí con la práctica en la, en la, la tarea de la plataforma podemos ir like, like, you know, like getting better mejorando en ese aspecto entonces ok Ana, if you don't have any other question let's see you on Monday ok, at 8pm okay. ok Ana okay. so uh, have a wonderful weekend good night Thank ok, you. Good night. bye bye ok, bye, bye.